Dr. Eric Rosner, Professor of Urology at the Medical University of South Carolina. We're talking about pelvic organ prolapse. What are the risk factors for experiencing pelvic organ prolapse? You know, Leah, that's, um, that's an interesting question. Um, we can identify certain things uh, that certainly predispose uh, an individual to the development of prolapse, um, but in each individual person, these don't always relate to prolapse. For example, uh, having a vaginal delivery, uh, a baby, uh, is certainly a risk factor for prolapse. Prolapse does happen in individuals who've not had uh, a vaginal delivery, but it's uh, uh, less prevalent in that population. Uh, aging is certainly a risk factor, and with aging also menopause and probably a uh, loss of native estrogens that one has when they go through menopause probably contributes uh, to the risk of developing a prolapse. Certain uh, neurological uh, conditions, uh, nerve injuries in the pelvis, um, even some congenital uh, things that you're born with, uh, genetic predisposition. There's now some, uh, some data to suggest that some people are actually predisposed because of their genes and the tissues that they're born with uh, they may be uh, more apt to develop prolapse. Uh, for example, if your mother had prolapse and your grandmother had prolapse, uh, then you actually might be at higher risk uh, for developing prolapse. Of course, the big question is what can we do about those uh, genetic predispositions? And, and today, there's not much we can do other than really keep a close eye on it. What are the early signs or symptoms of prolapse? Many people with prolapse feel a, a bulge or a mass in the vagina. Um, some people feel a pain or discomfort related to it. Uh, some people uh, feel uh, that they have difficulty uh, urinating or even having a bowel movement depending on what part of the vagina develops prolapse. For example, if, if the bladder uh, is the organ that is prolapsed, sometimes people have difficulty starting the stream. Other people with a, with a bladder prolapse, we call that a cystocele, a cystocele, uh, have a difficulty controlling the urine for a variety of reasons. Uh, patients who have rectoceles, which is a rectal prolapse, can have a difficulty evacuating their, their stool and have constipation. So it really depends uh, on, on, the each, on each individual and to some degree uh, to, uh, the amount of prolapse that they have. What can a woman do to help prevent prolapse or lessen her risks? This is a, uh, an area of real active ongoing uh, research. Currently, um, there's, there's not a very good answer to the question. Um, there are some mod modifiable uh, risk factors uh, such as chronic coughing. Uh, uh, weightlifting and that and, and these sorts of things that put a chronic stress on the pelvic organs um, and if uh, these uh, uh, outlying uh, factors can be improved perhaps uh, it will reduce the potential for prolapse in some people however in the vast majority of people who develop prolapse there's uh, no uh, present uh, great uh, method to prevent the development of prolapse.